Hello guys, so I'm back down at the paddocks today. It's uh, been a couple of weeks since I've been out because of all the storms and cold and wind and rain. So uh, yeah, I kind of been hauled up indoors, but back down at the paddocks today. So I'm gonna see what I can find. And I'm gonna head over to this field here that I'll show you. All three of them empty of horses. I don't know where the horses are, of course. I hope they're not just getting their mane brushed and they're gonna come and put them in the field where I have to leave, but the first field is where I found those hammocks. And this is the one that I tried to do last time, but then they stuck a horse in it. Uh, so yeah, this one behind me, right here. That's where we're searching today. Let's see what we can bring up. Oh dear. Entrance is over there. It's an absolute swamp. I'm sinking really deep, but it's actually a swamp everywhere. So I don't know how much I can actually do in this paddock. I think all the storm and rain that's been has really, really turned it into a swamp. Here we go. Uh, just dug this out of the hole. It's uh, looks like some small anchor type thing. Yes, not sure what that could be. But it is some kind of small anchor. I do believe it's got some kind of hinge. X hinge going on there. Yeah, I'll have to find out what that is. Right, so I've got 16 on the machine just here. All right, let me show you what I'm working with here. Ugh. Look at that water sludge, and I tell you what, that ain't all water either. So, uh, yeah, this is why I might not be able to stay in here too long. But we shall try and retrieve whatever it is. It's here somewhere. Okay, as you can see, I need uh, both my hands for this, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. Oh, Jesus. It is out. Let me show you this. I'm out of breath now. Look at this. Right. Pin and point all the way down there. Tops up here. Uh, it's got to be a good 14 inches. And my stomach is absolutely turning. I want to be sick because of the smell. But something round could that be hammered could this have been worth it after all that <laughs> let's have a look oh it feels like one. Oh my good god yes <laughs> wow we have a big hammered ah oh, i'm still out of breath because of all that digging and the smell but that Looks similar to a Henry V, can they? Half groat. But I shall give it a bit of a clean up. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it's been my offense. It's only the second dig as well. Oh, right, let me give that a clean up and show you a bit cleaner. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am absolutely over the moon. I can't believe that. Second dig of the day. And we've got what I believe is Henry right there. It's quite a big one as well. It's quite a big coin, so I'm guessing it's a groat. I'm trying to see the fleur de lis, it might not be a Calais. Yeah, is there some fleur de lis there on the left hand side? Might be. Um, I'll give it, a, I'll get it ID later, and then I'll stick a picture here or at the end of the video to say exactly what it is. But apart from a tiny little crack there, and uh, that's not a crack on the left there. That's it's like a scratch line, but it's not from the spade. But it's not cracked. Oh, that's lo lovely detail. Anyway, um, lovely detail. It's a bit bent, but I can probably get that flattened out with some annealing. One day I'll find someone who's good at it and just give them all my bent up coins. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, absolutely over the moon. It was worth digging through the piss and the shit. Oh my God. But I got hammered. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, like I say, that is not the colour of water, so um, I don't actually know how long I can stay in this. I mean, it's it's really hard and it stinks. Like I said, I want to feel sick. I mean, look, it's just a swamp. Um, I was literally just going to dig that, see something crap, and then go and do somewhere where it's a little bit drier. But, you know, once you find a hammered in a field, you know, what are you, what are you going to do? Walk away? No, you're going to keep scanning the areas. Let's crack on. Let's find some more in this swamp of 
Yeah, you know what. Ah, so the Knox is digging small. I just had a little, a little rabbit pellet somewhere. It was a few inches down, uh, but then I dropped it. So now I've got to find it again, just as I got my camera out. Uh, I think I'm going to go and do on that, that bit of grass there though, because it's uh, going to be dry. I mean, I've got a strong stomach, but I can't do this. I can't do any more of this, <laughs> even though there's hammocks. Uh, so I'm on the walkway now, and uh, a 12, 11, 12. Not in the nicest of locations. But let's get down there and dig it up. Let's dig it up live because I found hammers. So now I'm all enthusiastic and everything that I hear now, tone wise, I believe is gold. So, is it out? Yes, it's out. A nice 12, neatened up a bit, dinging nicely. What is it? It's here, it's here. It is here. You just can't hear it because my pinpoint is in silent mode. So I can go night hawking. All right, see what it is. It's in here somewhere. Ah, oh, was that it? It was it. Uh, uh, foil. Uh, yeah, move on. Move on. Then again, I did say gold, didn't I? And that looks suspiciously gold on there. No, it's yellow, move on. So let me ask you something. If you're out detecting, and you know you're in a trashy, possible trashy area, and you hear the high beeping tone of what you've heard a hundred times before of a tin can, do you dig it? Because I've got one here, and I'm thinking that is definitely the sound of tin can. But then I cross my mind, you know, I've left so many of them before, just knowing they're going to be something like a tin can. But a hoard would kind of sound like that, wouldn't it? Or wouldn't it? Have you found any hoards? If you found a hoard, let me know what it sounds like. But uh, yeah, do you dig everything that sounds like a tin can? You know, the screaming big 35s or high numbers on your machines. Uh, I'm going to dig this one and confirm can or hoard. Okay. It's neither, it's neither. It is something actually that looks like it's uh, got a copper screw in or brass and is made of iron. Very, very big iron. Probably the end of a mortar bomb and I should be out of here as quick as I can. Yeah, uh, I suppose, I suppose it was worth digging, like I say, just in case there is hordes, but uh, that's obviously modern with the uh, bolt there. But yeah, that's what it was. Okay, we are retrieving next target, which is also here, but again, you can't hear it. It was a straight seven on the machine. Straight seven, no alterations. So let's find out what it is. And it looks round. It feels like a button. Straight seven. Oh, it's probably shot yet, actually, isn't it? Yeah. A shotty end, unfortunately. Actually, it looks very similar to that big iron thing I just found. Look, bolt in the middle, a bit of brown in here. Maybe that was the end of a massive shell. I don't know, there's nothing else down there anyway, so. Yep, that is a shot yet. Oh, well, I just dug another one of these things. This is heavy. The other one that I found was really small. This one is really, really heavy massive piece of iron or something it was given a straight 17 though what on earth could it be i'm taking that home as heavy as it is i'm gonna whack it in my bag and take it home because i want to know what this is might give me an idea what the smaller one was unless uh i don't know what on earth is it oh well that's the next one anyway let's crack on okay next target is out straight 12 and it was quite deep. Uh, see what it is. It is here. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? What could it be? Could it? It's a button. Feels like a button. Was it a stone? No, it's a button. You can see the. Can you see it? Yeah. 
You see the little thing on the back there? The remains of a batoon. Blank batoon. Right, moving on. And just to clear things up, I wasn't really uh, night hawking when I said it's silent. It's like a night hawk. I don't really night hawk. It's silent because one time I put it on silent mode because I was at the beach doing my challenge and there were hundreds of people everywhere and I didn't want to beep all over the place and bring all that attention to me. So I put it in silent mode, but then it never came back on. Like I could never get the sound back on. Um, it stayed silent. And at the time it was still under warranty, uh, but I didn't send it in because I quite enjoyed playing with it in silent mode. But I am thinking that sometimes it's nice to have the, the sounds, especially for videos. So obviously the viewers can see what's beeping. Um, I'll probably get another pinpoint of another time. I don't know uh, how easy it is to fix sound issues on pinpointers, but if you know how easy they are to fix, let me know. And then down here, bottom of this hole is a straight 12 13 on the machine. It is out and it is. Can't see it. It's there somewhere. There is it. There it is. It is lead, guys, it is lead. I'm sorry I could not reveal gold or something nice. It's lead, stupid lead. <laughs> oh, second dig of the day, get hammered. Everything else after that sucks. Right, lead for the scrap collection. Let's move on. I didn't expect to find too much on this walkway though. Um, there's a fair bit of rubbish that I haven't yet shown. Okay, we have a straight 16 machine and it is in this clump somewhere. Let's uh, find it. Okay, it is now vibrating. Seems like it's near the surface then at this rate. Um, okay, whatever it is, it is right here and it is. Carabiner top. Yeah, there's a lot of junk. Yeah, just a bit of junk, little carabiner top. I might not do too much longer though. I feel dizzy and my stomach ain't felt right since I've dug in that paddock. I don't feel well. So uh, I try to do a bit more though. All this bending down and everything is making me feel more sick. Um, right, let's carry on for a bit more. And a full carabiner. Just air was near the surface as soon as I started lifting up the dirt, just popped through. But yeah, that's a full one that I'm dropping. And of course, I always find the tops. Yeah, so I always find these tops like that. But yeah, that's, a, that's what a full one looks like. Probably know that anyway. <laughs> right, I think we'll dig this one. Straight 14. It actually seems to cover a large area this time, so unless it's some spilled hoard, I <laughs> don't actually know what it would be. So, uh, well, it's here. Dig it out. Ooh, part of it. And it is, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. Missing the beaver. There we go. We have a small pistol shot or musket ball. Well, they are musket balls. Pistol shot, musket ball. I like it. It's a small one, so it goes with my bigger one that I found a couple of digs ago. But if you see my videos, you know I love digging musket balls. I just like that they're heavy and round and have historical age and I can play with it. And, yep going in the bag yeah so happy with that back on see if we can find some more, uh, more old stuff first kind of old thing out of this grass walkway bit though but uh, I just want to be back in the paddocks but you know in fact that giant puddle that you can see there that's where I found that uh, hammy from my last video so and now it's uh, yeah and now it's a lake so it's a good job I did it when I, I could that's the thing, when the, the horses aren't in the fields, 
I like to get in there and do what I can because I try and steer clear when the horses are in there, which is the majority of the time. Um, but I just can't do it, not with that smell and swamp. Uh, just going to wait for it to dry up a bit. So the last musket balls is 16, but here we have pretty much a straight 15. So let's uh, get digging. All right, so yep, just a piece of uh, button or possible, possibly a broken piece of a crotar bell. I mean, it's a little bit curved, so it might be part of what once was a crotar bell or some kind of fancy button. <laughs> okay, next target. We have what appears to be. Yeah, there's a bit of grunting in there, but otherwise it's. Uh, it's mainly an 18, uh, next to the electric fence. It's not the electric fence because uh, I could tell. But it's something that's about an 18 and we're going to dig it. We're going to dig it live because it was so loud it's probably near the top. And it is in this bit, I do believe. Yep, it is out. And where was it? Reveal yourself, whatever you are. Okay. Okay. What's that? Um. We have a zip. A oh, nice looking zip. Yeah, that's blue. SBS5, beautiful. What a beautiful zip. Lovely. All right, moving on. Right then, so uh, that's going to be my lot. Did want to do a bit more, but like I said, I don't feel great today. Not only that, but I've got my best coat on. I forgot to bring my top and all sorts. So, uh, and yeah, I weren't feeling that great. And that paddock just made me feel sick. So, probably shouldn't have eaten just before I started digging in a filthy paddock like that. But, oh well. It was worth it. Nice, nice, big, detailed hammer. I oh, can't believe it. I'm so, so happy. Um, but yeah, hopefully the uh, sun will come up and dry out the paddocks a bit more so I can actually get in there and do some, some real digging. So, anyway, until the next time, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. You know, share and whatever. <laughs> do what you want, but all thumbs up and stuff are appreciated. So, yeah, anyway, cheers for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.